wish I could pull that off. You look absolutely incredible. You're pulling it off. No, 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 no. <laughs> I can't. Look, give me that hat, man. Do you Take mind it. if I say? Take I it, baby. A, that looks so cool on you, and then I do it, and it's just not the same. <laughs> He looks a little bit like Cranston in there. Doesn't Why does yeah, it look yeah. so good on Giancarlo, but not me? <laughs> because it's the proper size for me. Yeah, yeah. Your <laughs> head like, is twice the yeah. size of it. Looks, it looks like a yarmulke yeah. on me. Uh, You're already wearing a yarmulke. I know, yeah. <laughs> this thing, this is my Irish yarmulke. Welcome, welcome to the show. Thank, thank you so I much. I love having you on the program. I you love know I'm a massive here. fan. And uh, so nice having you here. And you're always so lovely to talk to. And it's interesting, because I was thinking about this today. People all the time must interact with you in the world. And, of course, they're talking to the actor, Giancarlo Esposito, but there must be some part of them that's like, no, I want to I wanna interact with Gus Frank. You know what I'm saying? I, I do. Wanna, they, and they must want that. They want that. They want that. Just like children want discipline. They yeah. want to tell me. <laughs> 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 they want that. Yeah. They want me to cut their throat. They want me to give them the look. You want the look, yeah. They want the look. Yeah. They want me to, to handcuff them. You know, all oh, that's kinds... now it's getting sexy. Yeah. Oh, oh. Mm. Didn't mean that way. Okay. Well, that's uh, the only way I know it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you have fans, like you have fans that if they, no, it's true. <laughs> uh, it, 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 you must have fans who, like people, if I take a selfie with them, they want me to do one of my signature goofy moves, or th th that's what they want. What do they want you to do if you take a picture with them? Oftentimes, they don't want me to smile at all. Yeah. They want me to look at them very coldly. Like I'm going to kill them. Yeah. <laughs> they want me to tell them what to do. Yeah, yeah. They want me to call them employee of the month. See, I dropped into it. <laughs> you are my employee of the month. You, right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. I like you. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very nice. People get very intimidated when you just look at them. Yeah. And you take all of them in. Every part No, they get intimidated when you do that. <laughs> When you do that, look right into that camera right there and give them the, that's when you, people get intimidated by that. That's because that's you and you have that ability. My version of that is this. <laughs> now think, think to yourself. No, it just looks like I have gas. <laughs> think I am the boss. It doesn't work. I did, look, I Andy, right? Boss. It's just not in me. Yeah, no, it's, yeah, no, there's no intimidation there. Oh. <laughs> I mean, Man. for one thing, he's got bird bones. <laughs> yeah. Something is unescapable. Have, yeah, 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 yeah. There was a, there were, I, recently you were taking a selfie with someone and they wanted you to look like you were holding a gun on them. It was a fan, but she obviously didn't have like a toy gun or anything, but she just used what was available. She did. And what was it? It was a banana. It was a banana. So you took this picture with the fan. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she came to me. She said, I found this banana outside. That's Can you the pretend stupidest it's a gun? looking photo because yeah. you are so committed to one move and she gets it. And it's a banana. It's I a love banana. it. It's really good. It looks like it's at a Sears portrait studio. I know, I know. I told her I would peel her. Oh, wow. Oh, my okay, God. Okay, take it easy. Pal. Okay, okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> You scare the crew in, uh, in Better Call Saul. I understand you can be very intimidating on set uh, when, you're, when you're shooting Better Call Saul. Yeah, I go in uh, as the character. I don't like to go to rehearse without being in costume or wardrobe at the time, and I like to have everything you know, at my fingertips. And I have an attitude, because that's who the character is. I never you know, try to go in and out of it. And many of the crew members are very, even though they've known me for many years, are very afraid of me when I'm in that yellow shirt and those khaki pants. Uh, so I, I try to disarm them and tell them, hey, just relax. Right. I won't do anything to you that you weren't expecting. <laughs> <laughs> See, saying that is creepy. <laughs> I know. If I go up to my staff. What is wrong and, with me? If I go up to my staff and say, relax, I will do nothing to you that's not expected, <laughs> they're going to leave. They're just going to leave because it sounds <laughs> creepy. It sounds like a bad thing all, all, all across the board. I still contend that people want to be guided through their lives. I contend that now people are coming to a point where they want to have more say yeah. in the world that we live in, but still, it's easier to be told what to do. Right. And I have to tell you, I'm the person to tell you what to do. Yes, yes.